Und willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge Red Dead Redemption 2. So, wir sollen jetzt äh, Zug überfallen, glaube ich. Also so hat das wenigstens gesagt, unser Anführer. Und dann schauen wir doch mal, äh, ob wir den noch überfallen können. In der letzten Folge hatten wir auch schon das Dynamit besorgt für den Überfall. Und ich bin echt gespannt, so, ob das jetzt klappen wird oder eben nicht. So, okay, ich würde mal sagen, wir reiten mal los. Zweimal auf X und in der Formation. Und wir sehen schon, Leute, dass jetzt hier langsam der Schnee verschwindet. Also ich glaube, der Frühling naht. Spannend, ob wir das hinkriegen. Du, du, du. Jetzt langsam hier ein bisschen schneefrei. Da unten geht jemand. Schauen. Das heißt, wir müssen runtergehen. Die hätten sich die Karte auch mal auf das Schnellmenü legen können. Okay, er ist hier unten. Machen wir schon einen Wegpunkt hin. Ja. 
Hinten ist auch sein Pferd. Dafür bringst du nämlich an, oder? How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Nimm die Spule. Okay, dann gehen wir von unserem Hütte hier runter. Ja, und wir nehmen... Das, ist, das nervt mich jetzt ein bisschen, dass er hier äh, das Gewehr nicht immer automatisch hat. Und ich mal wieder runternehmen muss. Okay, nehmen wir die Spule. So, dann gehen wir mal da hinten hin. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Come on, boy. Train's gonna be here any minute. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Mach mal bitte. Shit, no, what? God. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that more? You said it was fine. Was my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Du Scheiße. Fuck. Dann machen wir gerne nochmal Mission neu starten. Oder Kontrollpunkt neu starten. Mal Kontrollpunkt neu starten. Ich hoffe mal, dass wir hier gleich wieder losrennen können. Also jetzt machen hier. 
Ah, da vorne rein, oder was? Die mal. Was ist jetzt los? Lenny ist gestorben. Oh. Ach du Scheiße, da muss ich schauen, dass der nicht stirbt oder was? Was ist da los? Junge.
Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holding in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Nice. Whoosh. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? We're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Sehr geehrter Mr. Cornwall, wir warten immer noch auf Ihre okay. Zahlung von 2000 Dollar für die erste Phase der Bohrfeld-Erkundung im Wapiti Indiana Reservat bei Ambarino. Wir vereinbarten diese Summe im Vertrag zwischen den Cornwall, Kerosin und Kehrwerken und der Leland Öl Entwicklungsgesellschaft vom 9. November 1998 erhalt. Der vereinbarten Summe werden wir unverzüglich zu den Phase 2 und 3 übergehen und Ihnen so. innerhalb eines Monats einen detaillierten Bericht mit unseren Erkenntnissen vorlegen. Railroad contracts, invoices, bla bla bla. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar? Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. 
Sehr geehrter Levitikus, danke für Ihr Telegramm und Ihr Interesse an der Jameson Bergbaugesellschaft. Allerdings entbehren alle, äh, entbehren alle Berichte, dass Sie über schlechte Führung oder finanzielle Schwierigkeiten der Mine in Annesburg erhalten haben. Jeglicher Grundlage und ich würde darauf drängen wollen, dass Sie Ihre Quellen hinterfragen. Das Kohlegeschäft äh, unterscheidet sich in vielerlei Hinsicht von der Ölindustrie. Ich bin daher wie, äh, nach wie vor offen für ein geschäftliches Treffen, wann immer es ihnen zeitlich passt, sodass wir unsere unterschiedlichen Branchenkenntnisse miteinander teilen können. Es wäre mir auch ein Vergnügen, Sie hier in Annesburg zu begrüßen und Ihnen persönlich die Mine und die angeschlossenen Werke zu zeigen. Ich freue mich bereits jetzt auf Ihre Antwort. Mit ergebensten Grüßen, Archibald Jameson. Premium Zigaretten. Knete. Oh. Na, das ist doch sagsam. Anleihe. Think I got him? Nein. Thank God. Come on. Ich wollte schon mal schauen, ob hier noch irgendwas ist. Anscheinend nicht mehr. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you you camp, when you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Können wir nicht um die Wachen? Okay, haben wir den jetzt hier erledigt noch? Ah, da vorne liegt er, okay. So, okay. Fahren wir den Zug mal weg. Aber erst plündern wir die Kameraden noch. Was ist denn das mit der Gürtelschnalle da? Gegenstände? Da her. Ja, komm, das sehen wir mal. Haben 
sind wir komplett voll wieder. Ah, den Hut verloren oder was? Okay. Jetzt haben wir unseren Hut auch wieder in den Zug steigen. Okay, okidoki. Und den ersten Überfall sicher abgeschlossen. Ostwärts. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Okay. Dann würde ich sagen, geht jetzt auf, äh, zu unserem Lager dann. Wir haben erfolgreich überwintert. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Think. If they want 
wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So? Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, Working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you.
brother. Head in there. You follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so <laughs> would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. When we put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I 
can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. <laughs> 